Hello, my name's Tristram Hooley and I'm giving a lecture for the Inland Norway University of Applied Science on the subject of career theory. This is the first of a series of lectures that I'm going to be giving. Um, and in this one, I'm going to give an overview. I'm going to look at the issue of career. I'm going to introduce the idea of career guidance. And then I'm going to talk a bit about what theory is and why theory is useful. So let's start with this picture. This is a sketch of my son standing on the top of Barden Hill, which is the highest hill in our county in Leicestershire in the UK. So when I look at this picture, we could tell the story in a number of different ways. We could focus on um, his great achievement of, of going to the top of the hill and standing on the, the summit. We could uh, focus on how he's got there, what, what events in his life have led him to be going up that, what was the experience of going up the hill like. We could uh, think about his psychology, we could think about what's going on inside his mind in this picture as he looks out over Leicestershire from its highest point. We could also think about the sky or the mountain itself and the geology and uh, meteorology that, of, of, uh, that we can see uh, displayed for us. All of these different things come together. And in a way, I think career is about that. It's about the fusing of different things together. So career is not just about the individual. It's not just about the environment. It's about the interaction of the individual and the environment. And that's why it's so important. But as soon as we start to try and tell the story of career, as soon as we start to try and theorize it, we immediately have to start to focus on one aspect or another. And that's what theories tend to do. And so one of the things that I'm gonna ask you to think about as we go through this, is not just to think about uh, what do theories explain, but also what do they not explain? What do theories miss out? So what is career? Career is the individual's journey through life, learning and work. It's not just about what we do as paid work. It's all of the activities that make up our life and it's about how we combine them together. Now, of course, paid work is very important. Paid work puts food on the table. And so paid work is an important part of this, but it's not the whole of it. And career is looking more broadly than that. So when we think about career, it's a powerful concept because it explains our life and it explains our life both in a day to day sense. How do we get up? Where do we go in the morning? We go to work, we go to school. How do we um, conduct ourselves there? Do we work hard? Do we do we um, not work hard? Do we take a, a sick day? These things are all career decisions. But career is powerful because as well as explaining the day to day, it also helps us to explain our passage through our life. It helps us to think forward and helps individuals to think forward and backwards in their life and recognize that their life is a narrative. It's a, it's a story that goes across their whole life. It's not just what's happening in the day to day and the things we do in the day to day will make a difference to what happens tomorrow. So career guidance then uh, is any intervention that helps us to think about our career, to manage our career, to make positive progress in our career. And you'll come across lots of different terminology that can be used as we go through this course, which helps us to describe this. And each of them describes slightly different things. So I'm not gonna get into the details of this right now, but what I am going to in encourage you to do is to try and notice the ways that people talk about any way that you might help individuals to develop their career. So what all of these things have in common is that they're purposeful interventions. Somebody is reaching down and helping somebody else to manage their career, so to climb to the top of a mountain or whatever it might be. Thankfully, the Organisation for Economic Cooperation and Development have come up with a definition for this career guidance. And they say, well, career guidance refers to any services, activities intended to assist individuals of any age and at any point throughout their lives to make educational training and occupational choices and to manage their careers. 
The activities may take place on an individual or a group basis and may be face to face or at a distance, including helplines and web based services. So this is important and it's a very influential definition because it says career guidance is anything you do purposefully to help individuals, whether in education or in the employment system, to manage their careers and to develop their careers and make choices. So it's not just about work, it's not just in work or in education, it's not just for young people, and it's not just face to face. It's a very broad definition, and that's the definition that we're going to work with for the most part in this course. So there are different interventions, there are different ways that they can be done, and there are different reasons for doing them. And that might feel a bit scary. There's lots of things that we could be doing to help people to develop their career. Um, there's even lots of definitions that we might come up with for what they might include within their career. So theory becomes useful then because it helps to guide our actions. It helps us to decide what is important and what is valuable in uh, to do with people. So theory is, a, is that process of thinking things through and it's a process of deciding what is worth doing. So Einstein says uh, that the goal of all theory is to make irreducible basic elements as simple and as few as possible without having to surrender the adequate representation of a single datum of experience. So what Einstein is getting at there is that life is incredibly complicated. Inevitably, when you create a theory, there's the danger of losing what's important. And in fact, I, I would argue all theories do by simplifying the incredible complexity of, of human lives in the world, you inevitably have to lose some things in order to make it understandable. So different theories focus on different things and they simplify our experience of having a career down to something that we can manage, something that is useful to us, both as a career guidance professional and as an individual in terms of thinking about our careers. And that's what theory is trying to do. So theory is not trying to be complex, it's trying to be simple. It's trying to reduce the complexity of our lives down to something that's simple and explainable that we can then act on. And there are different types of theories that you might notice. So there are theories that focus on the context. How does the context work? What's going on in the context? There are, there are theories that focus on the psychology of the individual, what's going on inside their head. And there are theories that focus about on these interventions and how these interventions might be best uh, organized. Now, the theories that I'm going to offer you in the next uh, series of lectures will touch on all of these in different ways. And we'll be thinking about that as we go along. The point of this course is not to say pick one theory over all of the others. I think there's value in letting a thousand flowers bloom, in thinking about all of these theories, in being influenced and informed by all of them. But that doesn't mean that you can just think about all theories and say, well, I'll just pick you know, different flowers and put them together how I feel uh, is right. Different theories will come with different traditions, with different ideas. So some will not work well with others or will be more difficult to combine with others. So that's another part of what we're going to be thinking about is what are some of the tensions in this, these theories? Where are some actually critical of some of the others? Where are some in tension with the others? There are lots of different ways to tell the story of theory. Um, so we could think about theories in terms of uh, different disciplines. So career is a, an area that fits into different uh, disciplines. We could see it as a form of psychology. Uh, we can see it as a form of sociology, as part of the education field, as an economic um, theory and so on. Um, so our theories uh, can be informed by the disciplines we come from. They can also uh, recognise that there are long-standing traditions. And I, I will um, kind of point you towards Leong's article, which talks about the five uh, big career theories. He talks about the theory of work adjustment, Holland's theory of vocational personalities, self-concept theory, Godfrey's theory of circumscription and compromise, social cognitive career theory. Now, I'm not going to go into all of those in detail. Some of them we will certainly be looking at more as we move through. 
But these, um, it's well worth reading Leung's um, article. But as I've pointed out here, his article is quite US centric. So it, it thinks about career theories from a perspective that works well in the country that he's living in. Um, it doesn't work. Well, I would argue that these, this is not the whole story of career theory if we think about it from a more European perspective. So another way we can think about the, the story of theory is we can look at the different journals that exist. We can look at where these uh, career theory stories are told and try and understand them that way. And we can also recognize that these are theories which are advanced by people. These people know each other. They organize themselves in various kinds of networks. So we could see career theories as being a series of traditions of interactions between people. So think about all of these things as we go in. I'm going to try and cover these six career theories. As I say, these are not the whole story, but they hopefully are some of the most important aspects of the story. I'm going to look at matching trait and factor theories. I'm going to look at developmental theories, at structuralism, at social cognitive career theory, at narrative theory or life design, at emancipatory career theories. These are going to be the six that I'm going to focus on. Now, you probably don't know what any of these are yet, and that is fine because that's exactly what this course is designed to cover. I'm going to give you some references in every lecture I do to give you some further reading. Here, you might want to, as I say, go off and have a look at Leong's uh, writing and at the Organisation for Economic Cooperation and Development, their definition and overview of career guidance at the time. So in summary, theory tries to explain what career guidance is, what career is, in fact, and how it works. It also tries to explain how career guidance should respond to this. The different theories inform each other. They're not closed boxes. Uh, but you need to be careful, about, of course, about how you combine them. And that's what we'll be looking at. So thank you for listening. This is a, a little bit about me if you want to get in touch. And I will look forward to seeing you in future lectures.